So we are back from thrifting in our kitchen studio. Yeah. And we're gonna show you five different projects that you can do with IOD, because we've got a sale going on right now, and even if you watch the replay, these are gonna be some fun ways to make over thrifted finds. So this is always the hard part with IOD, is they have so many great options. Which one do you pick for your project? I'm gonna use a Holly Lane mold for my wreath and my Christmas thing I'm making. And I gotta find something for those signs. I've used these a ton. And I do like them, but I need to find something new. You gotta go a different route? Yeah, I don't know what. I'm gonna bring you over to the resin pouring station here. Equal parts side A and side B. Stir till it goes cloudy and then goes back clear again, usually about 30 seconds to a minute. This is the Holly Lane mold, and I'm just gonna do a bunch of these. Might have to do a couple pours. So I'm actually just using scraps of the Rose Chintz IOD inlay. You can really just do this with any of them, especially the all over wallpaper style. And I'm going to put this on here. I'll pull it off, and then I'm going to take this other scrap and just add some more flowers. It, that's what I like about the Rose Chintz is it doesn't have to be perfect, which is a good thing, because I am not perfect at this. You're great at it. I'm average. Is that gonna fit? Yeah. I'm using DIY's Cottage Color. It's an all-in-one, and you gotta be kind of quick because it has a built-in sealer. Um, it's all natural, self-leveling. I just like to do a nice thick coat, and then I'll put these on there. And I'll worry about painting the sides of it later because I'm not gonna put any inlays on the sides. This is a great way to use up scraps. I'm just gonna push down on this and I'll let it dry and then I'll get it reactivated with water. So because this has a built-in sealer and I'm going for kind of a shabby look, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wet before it dries all the way so that I can transfer the paint to the cottage color and then I'm gonna pull it off. So this is gonna be a pretty quick use of an inlay, a little bit off label. Cause you're supposed to let it dry all the way and then let it dry all the way again and then get it wet and all that stuff. But cottage color is a little different. I did not let it sit and dry all the way, but I did get it wet. I just don't want that top coat to make the paper stick too much before it dries. So I really want it to look old and decrepit. So this is such a quick way to use a paint inlay. It's turned out pretty good. We're gonna go from the resin to the IOD air dry clay. And I'm just starching the mold a little bit, just corn starch. And that's gonna help it release with the air dry clay so that I can still pick up all the details, but I don't have to fight it getting it out of the mold. I'm gonna try something different. I've seen people use the mermaid mold and the wings and feathers mold to make an angel. So we'll see if I can figure that out. And then I'm gonna do just my old standard sheep because I love sheep. So I flip my mold upside down and I'm going to take out just the top part of the sea queen. So this is the whole mold and I just used the top. While she's doing the wings, I'm gonna get this started. I don't know, the detail's nice, that's cute, right? But. I'm gonna try to break it off of here without cratering the inside oh, of this. Yeah, good luck. You might have to use a sawzall. I don't have it here. Oh, got it. But not a lid anymore. Now it's gonna be like a decorative art piece. That's better than that, if you ask me. What? Um, yeah, it's more our style. The other one was just a little too ornate. There we go. I think that's good. I'm gonna glue it together and paint it. Once you paint it, it's gonna look a lot better. While your clay is still wet, you wanna go ahead and put your paint on there. That's gonna keep it from cracking a ton and just be careful not to like ruin the detail. Let's brush it like crunchy city. Doing a resin sheep on and keeping it simple and I'm gonna paint it white and then come back and add detail. 
I'm gonna use DIY's cottage color because when I want to do a dark wax, this is one of my favorite whites because I don't have to add any sealer to it because it has a built-in sealer, so it saves a step. Now that you painted that white, that sheep just went away. It's all right, I will bring it back. And this is white linen is the color. Hold on, hold on. These are all resin molds that Zeb made with the holly and the cameo, and I think this is the fleur-de-lis. And I'm just gonna paint them with DIY's copper patina, pennies from heaven, and then they'll be ready to go on my wreath, and then I have some greenery going in that tall pot thing. I like to do a bunch of stuff all at once. It saves time, and then they can all be drying while I'm doing something else. We've got this thrifted garland swag situation, and Jamie's like, hey, can you cut that in half? I'm like, yes, yes I can. So I'm going to cut it in half. We'll see what falls off and what doesn't. But she only needs half of it, and this is a perfect example of, maybe I can cut it in half. A perfect example, all right, hang on, of using what you find at the thrift store to make inexpensive holiday decor. So Jamie was concerned that we had a Christmas theme going because that's all of her stuff is Christmas. She's like, what are you doing with that? I'm using the brocant transfer. I'm gonna put this on here and it doesn't have to be for Christmas. It might get some dark wax to give it a little more detail, but I think, oh, we're committing right now, right there in front of your eyes. I think I'm just gonna put this on, this transfer on here and go with it. So, you are your own man, Zeb, where are you doing stuff? So it came out of the brocant transfer and there's a ton of sheets in here of just goodness. So the nice thing about the cottage colors from DIY Paint, the one that we've collaborated with them on, it's all in one. There's a sealer in it and I can put these transfers on the top, seal over the transfer with wax or whatever real quick, a liquid sealer, big top or, or top coat if I want and they're ready to go, they're done. And it's super handy to just be able to put the transfer right on as soon as I'm done painting. Well, it's not as soon, it's gotta dry first. Well, yes. <laughs> Disclaimer, let your paint dry. Look at that, it just did it for me. I wasn't gonna go up under the lip like this, but it rolled off of the backer. And so look at that, super handy. This is before, it's just the plain copper, which is beautiful. I always love an antique look. This is what they look like with dark wax. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I love to use either a stencil brush, like the JRV stencil brushes, or just a really, um, actually this is one of Dion's brushes. Don't show her this. I did not use this, but you should use a cheap brush, not a Dion brush. Um, little art brush, cause then you can get down into the details. A traditional stencil brush just makes it a little bit harder. And I can really control how much wax I'm using. I'm just using a DIY's dark wax. You can pick up any of the paint products you see us use today at jamierayvintage.com. Once I get most how I like it, then I just wipe it back. And there you go. I have 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna lightly distress some of the edges and just bring back some of that dark color underneath. I'm back with the DIY wax, which is a sealer, and I'm just gonna put some along the edges here, and then I'm gonna wipe it over the top. Down in here would be a little crusty. And then before it cures, so the awesome thing about the wax is that takes away the stark newness of the brand new paint and kind of gives it a little bit of age texture so that you can see all those little brush strokes and everything on there. And we love that. It looks like it's hot glue time. It is hot glue time. So I already took one of the little pieces from the cameo mold that I did and I just glued it down here just to kind of give us a cohesiveness. So far, just to give you an idea, this piece was $2 at the thrift store. This is half of a $2 swag, so I'm calling it one buck. So three bucks plus a few molds and the teeniest little bit of paint and wax. This is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna use a lot of glue because I really want this to attach well. And I'm gonna put it down on here and then I can always come back and add more glue. So it looks, half of a swag looks like a little decorated Christmas tree. You can also buy these new, I think this originally came from like Target or something.
This is getting some porcelain knobs that we picked up in England back in the spring when we were there. So my angle turned out pretty great. I'm just gonna hit it with some white dry brush. I've got DIY cottage color, my clean on brush. You want your brush to be almost dry. And then you just go across the detail and everything just pops. If you get too much paint on there and you're like, hey, I don't like that, you can always dry brush back the original color and change it up. Now that my brush is really dry, I'm gonna come back and do the backboard. Just adding some detail here. Same thing as we did with the copper, coming in with this little brush and black waxing it. Again, if you don't like the dirty look, you don't have to do it, but you're gonna lose a lot of the detail if you don't find some way to contrast it. And if you get too much, you can let this dry and dry brush over the base coat. So I'm just gonna be using the Klingon PS10. PS just stands for pointy sister. I love this when I'm doing something that has a lot of detail and I don't wanna to have to push super hard with a wax brush. Because this clay, since we just did this today, it's still a little soft. It won't dry for like 24 hours. I'm just gonna hit this up with clear wax. You're gonna see a good amount of contrast on it. And then it'll be good to go. In a couple of hours, we created some very different projects using IOD. Five different ideas that you guys can use to create your own home decor. So if you're watching this video when it airs, the sale is running right now until Friday, November 4th at midnight. That's in 2022. Buy two items, save 25% and free shipping to the contiguous 48 states. However, you can buy IOD anytime on our website, even if you're watching this replay years later at JanuaryVintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it out, and subscribe to January Vintage for more DIY. Tell us which one is your favorite below.